<clears throat> hey guys, so uh, in these tutorials, I'm just gonna go through the basics with you. Like, I'm not gonna get into detail. We can do that later on. I'll end up making more tutorials on banking and etc. But right now, we're just gonna get the mining down and probably the paint. So, we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna need this in your script. It's called a uh, skeleton. So, these are your imports. The imports is what makes your script run. Uh, this is your name, the name of the script, author, description. Uh, your on start is what the script's going to do when you start it. The loop is what the script does, and on the finish is what the script's going to do when you finish it. So we're going to do author, spanky, keywords, mining, coal, world, no, uh, Remington, no. Uh, Ardon, that's what I was looking for. 99. Uh, whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter in the keywords. It's not much. And then uh, the name just kind of match up with what you did up here. Uh, I mine coal. You can space it right here. Um, description. Ardon coal miner with banking period smiley face version we haven't edited it yet so it's gonna be uh, 1.0 and then that's that and then right here the extend scripts well, I always space that anyways right there uh, this is what whatever you save up here, whatever you save this as, has to be the same down here without the dot Java. So this one has to be I mine coal. And yes, it is case sensitive everything. Um, so right here on start, we want it to log. And the log, it's down at the bottom. It'll just, it'll say, it'll come up and say something. Uh, log welcome to I drop coal. And we're going to go outside here, and every line you make in Java, for the most part, has to end with a semicolon to make it complete. That's just what it, that's, that's it. So, you can go ahead and make your logs, what you wanted to say. Uh, yeah, visit uh, my thread for more updates because I'm not adding an auto updater to this one I'm not gonna go through mm -hmm. that and then on finish uh, log thanks for using me see a hick so that's that and then oh see look it's right there my ID is telling me it's incomplete because I don't have a semicolon and then now the red mark is away because it's complete. Alright. And now, right there, you're going to need what you call uh, your variables. So, you need int, sorry, int equals um, oh, sorry, again, uh, your int is a variable that's going to declare you want it to right now declare uh, coal rock ID equals um, I actually I'll be right back because I don't even have the IDs for these hold on hey guys alright <clears throat> I'm back now so I had to go get the IDs item IDs for uh, the coal rock so uh, the first one is 2096 and then we're gonna put a comma space 2097 and then end the line with a semicolon that's the IDs for the Ardon coal rock and then in and it is integer it is uh, um, it's just declaring what everything is because if you just put 
coal rock ID in the loop and tell it to mine it, it's not going to know what that is. So this is just letting it know what it is. So we can call it coal rock ID. So we're going to get the pickaxe IDs. Alright, so these are all of the pickaxe IDs right here. And that with a semicolon. <laughs> and another thing, if you're like one of those fancy people that, oh, I want myself to look cool and everything, well, for your log messages, you can add colors. You can go color dot, I like blue. Oh, we got a little lag going on. Yep. <sighs> Running too much. All right, you can go color blue space and then that'll give it a uh, that'll make it blue but then you're gonna need to for it to show up you're gonna need another import so you're gonna import color right there <laughs> and then we're gonna go down here and we can do it again color oh shit color Hmm, what color we want? I've never used the C on or however the hell you say it. We can try that, I guess. I mean, what's it gonna hurt? I bet yellow's kinda cool. Pink, orange, yeah, I've never used any of these damn colors. We'll do C on, yeah, let's go for that. Alright, um, then we're gonna go down the on finish down here. Color. Um, this is what this is why you need an IDE. This it gives you all of these options to pick all this different stuff. Like if you don't have an IDE, it's not going to give you any of these options. IDEs help you so much. Like highly preferred. Like okay, so now it's time to make our script mine. Okay, so no, so yeah. So now that we're in a hurry, I'm not gonna type everything in because it's just gonna waste the time and blow time. So I'm gonna just copy and paste everything. I've already pre-typed everything. So we're gonna go right here. Um, if inventory is full, uh, you're gonna. If we're idling right here, we're gonna get the nearest rock and we're gonna mine it. So. What we name it up at the top, our variable, it was coal rock ID, right? So see, it matched. So it's going to, that's what it's going to mine. And then w now, it needs to know when to bank it in a little bit, but we'll worry about that in a second. I can show you how it's going to work. So now, well, we can add the anti-ban, I guess, right now. It doesn't matter. So we're going to start over here. Well, I don't even know if we're going to worry about the anti band yet. We need to make sure everything works. I mean, I already know it will, but we need to make sure everything's going to work. So, we'll worry about that in a second. Um, just a little before it, I'll show you. This is um, a script I made earlier. This is my iron miner. Power It power mines iron. So, that's just what it'll be like somewhat it has a randomized anti-ban everything so we'll, we'll do the same but right now let's we'll check and see if it mines in a second but first we're gonna need a few imports so we'll get the import for the RS object so it knows what that is exactly if it'll give it to me isn't of course so I'm gonna have to go get it alright so the import for the RS object we're gonna go ahead and add it right there that's the import and then I think we have everything we need right now uh, yeah so this will mine right now so if you don't know how you can go ahead and compile well just go ahead and save it and compile it from the fo from your folder so we're gonna go ahead and save it right here we're gonna go to my documents 
RS blot. They're gonna hit compile. Sorry, that little error right there was just something that I had mistyped. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, compile it again. Gonna hit compile. Oh, another typo. Alright, so, we successfully compiled it. So you're just going to go ahead and close all that stuff. And then, uh, I think I'm going to have to show you the rest in a, another tutorial. I think we're getting too long here. So that's the basic. I just set it to drop for now because it's going to be easier to show you. I'll have to show you banking in a whole other video. And then, yeah, so that's just going to drop the coal for now. We can look at the rest later and the next video I'll show you how it runs as is right now and then I think we're gonna add the paint and then we'll add anti we'll add, we'll add anti band and the paint and then we'll add walking and banking next and then we'll see how it runs so I'll see you guys in the next video peace